Uh, it might look like a long trick, but all the individual elements are not very complicated, and there's a lot of the same thing happening, so it shouldn't be too hard for you to learn this trick. Now, this trick starts in a left-handed basic mount. So, the left-hand loop is further forwards. And you're going to take your right hand and the loop and go anti-clockwise around the yo-yo. And you should end up in this little heart sort of formation here. Then you're going to throw the yo-yo round your left hand in a sort of trapeze-like motion onto this bottom string of the right hand side of the heart. And then just come off again. And catch the top side, the, the top half of the right hand part of the heart with your thumb. Then you're going to pass the yo-yo off to the right hand side over your right hand and stick your index finger in that loop. Now you should be in a mount with a kink in the middle, strings on the front and back, the yo-yo on the very frontmost string. So once you've got yourself there, you're going to do one orbit around your left hand finger and then you're going to roll the yo-yo up to the right hand side and onto this middle string on the right hand side of the kink. So it should pass off this front loop onto that middle loop. Then you're going to drop your left hand thumb and roll the yo-yo all the way over from the right hand side again and over your left hand index finger. Then it's going to go up and onto this very front string from the front and sit back down. Just to confirm the trick so far, heart, over, and back, thumb in, over the right hand, stick your index finger, orbit, orbit onto the middle string, drop your thumb, round, and then up onto this front string. Then you're going to roll back to the outside and over your left hand index finger again. And then you're going to drop your right hand index finger, and you're in what looks like a basic mount, but actually it's an arms crossed basic mount. So it's not quite the same, and what you're going to do is you're going to roll clockwise again, all the way around both of your hands, but n not actually mounting on any of them, so you should end up in a kind of twisted basic mount. Then you're going to do the same motion from the heart mount again, and mount yeah, around, these, and then onto this front string here. Then you're just going to dismount, and then go around just your right hand, and you should end up just in your open loop with a single wrap. Now you can move back over your left hand index finger, back into the basic mount you started in. And that is most of the trick there. The last little element can be practiced on its own, starting from the same basic mount. You're going to take your right hand, move it behind the left hand loop, and stick your index finger in. And then you're going to roll the yo-yo round the outside, up over your right hand, and out the back. So not onto this front string like this, but out the back. Oh, there. Now you should end up in a kind of cross position like that. You're going to keep the yo-yo rolling over and onto this front string again. And then you're going to drop your right hand index finger again, and you're back in that cross basic mount. Then you can stick your left hand index finger in the loop, and you're now in an engine mount similar to the engine trick in 4A, and you can roll the yo-yo clockwise as many times around your finger as you like, although be careful, the string does roll, so you might end up with string burn on the back of your right hand wrist if you're not careful or you go too fast. Once you're done, you want to stick, once you've done enough of those, you want to stick your, right, your left hand into the loop, do one more roll, and catch the rest of the string over your left hand, and drop your left hand finger, and now you're in a basic mount again. Then you can just dismount, 